Hey guitar enthusiasts, welcome back. Lauren Bateman here. In this lesson video, we're going to be going over an Elvis Presley classic called Hound Dog. Let's get into the lesson video. So this song uses only three chords, a C chord, a G chord, and an F chord. Now, if you're a beginner player and you don't know bar chords yet, don't worry, I have an easy fix for that F chord and it's relatively easy to get into from the C chord. So all you have to do to get to the easy F chord is move the first, the top two fingers down one string each. And we have an F major seven chord, okay? So if you know a C chord, move your second finger down one, your third finger down one. That is an F major seven. It will work well enough for this song, especially if you're a beginner player. Now, if you want to pop over to my website, I do have the chord chart and the lyrics over there. You can pull that up and follow along with me here. I'll put a link in the description below. So let's go over three different types of strumming patterns that you can use for this song, starting with the easiest and working our way to the hardest. So the first one that I tell most beginners to do is just play four down strums, okay? So we're gonna do four down strums per chord. So the chord progression, for this song is actually a 12 bar blues, believe it or not. So the chord progression, and it just repeats over and over again, is gonna be four C chords, two F chords, two C chords, a G chord, an F chord, and two C chords. And we're gonna do some different things strumming wise on the ends of these, but that's gonna be our chord progression. Once you go through those 12 chords, 12 bar blues, we come right back to the beginning and we start again. So we're starting on a C chord. So if you were just gonna do that rhythm, it would be four down strums per chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Then you get to the F chord and you would just do the same thing. Switch to your F chord or if you're playing the F major seven. One, two, three, four and then back to C. So you just do four down strums, four beats per chord, okay? So that's the easiest way to do it um, if you're just starting out. The next way would be to throw some eighth notes into the mix. So you could just do a straight up eighth note pattern. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. So it's just a down up. One and two and three works just fine. Eighth note strumming, if you're capable of throwing in some up strums, I would give that a try. So basically each chord you're going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And it's still four beats, we just have eighth notes. So there's eight strums within that same bar. So the simplest, one, two, three, four. The next one, if you choose to do this option, one and two and three and four and and then the third option is usually how I play the song. So let me show you that third strumming pattern. So because this is based off of like a 12 bar blues progression, I would usually play this more as like a shuffle pattern. So when we start with that C chord, instead of going one and two and three and four and one and very straight on the bar, the up, we're actually playing what we call triplets one and a two and a three and a four and a so the up is going to be on that uh one a two a three a four a one a two a three a four a. here a difference so here's the eighth notes still works but a hound all right mm -hmm. here it is with the shuffle Sounds a little bit more like the song. I'm also accenting, if you guys can hear it, the two and the four beats. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one. So that's what we're doing for strumming patterns. So pick whichever one you feel most comfortable with. If you're an absolute beginner, start with the simple ones and work your way up. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of a different strumming thing on the end of these verses. So when we get to, well, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine, you go, ain't never caught a rabbit. Mm -hmm. Two, three, 
three, four. I would just strum once on that last C so that the chord progression at the end of these verses is G, F, and double C. That second C, I would just strum once and hold. So even if you were just doing the four down strums, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and no. And then, and then you get into the, the next verse. Well, they said you were high class. All right, so that's how you would you would play through that. And if you guys want to do a full playthrough with me, I am bringing back my play along series. So I'll put a link up here once that video is available. You can go and play through the entire song with me, beginning to end, and practice playing with the song. But I will do a quick run through here without me singing. One, two, one, two, three, four. And that's how you would get into the next verse. Make sure to give me a thumbs up so YouTube shows more of my videos to viewers just like you. YouTube's gonna pop up a couple more videos over here. Make sure to go check those out and don't forget to leave a comment below and say hello. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you in another lesson video.